Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to guide you through a yoga sequence for weight loss. This is my part 2 video for the weight loss series. I do have a part 1, you might as well want to check that out. And in this class, no equipment is needed, we're just going to be using our entire body weight to stimulate our bodies. Once you're ready, grab your mats and let's begin. We're going to start the practice by standing to the length of the mat. We're going to start off with Tadasana, the mountain pose. I want you to spend this quiet time just preparing yourselves, your mind and body for this beautiful flow that's in store for you. And draw in all the attention and bring awareness to be present in the moment. If you're going to practice some core activation, I want you to guide both your hands on your stomach like so. And I want you to inhale nice and deep, sucking in your belly button for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And exhale out with your mouth for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale nice and deep for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale out for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, hold and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hold, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale, hold and exhale, thrust out. Inhale, one last time, nice deep inhale and exhale out all the air great one you guys i really hope that felt good let's start the flow we're going to stimulate and activate the body with some deep squats i want you to stand legs to the hip distance apart you're going to deep squat down as you raise the hands over the head and exhale i want you to tuck your elbows right behind you so squat down extending the arms in front and as you exhale, you're going to raise yourselves up and tuck the elbows behind, working for the back. Inhale down, exhale, crunch behind. Let's do five more of this. Four more. Three. Do it nice and slow, you guys. Two. And last one. Now we're going to work on tiny pulses down to the squat. Squat down and pulse the glutes out. Pulse it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job. Now slowly hinge yourselves to the front like so. Your arms are still over the head. Try to lengthen your body and reach to the other side. Hold it here and slowly fold yourselves for the forward fold reaching down as much as you can if you want to bend your knees you can do it as shown going for the ragdoll sways i want you to get hold of your elbows and just sway your body left to right, feeling good. And slowly stack each vertebrae at a time as you raise yourselves up. And now we're going to go in for some cartwheel sways. That's again to wake up our bodies and to get that blood circulation going. You're just going to swing yourselves down to the right side towards the left and raise yourselves up. So you're going to work the arms as you cartwheel it down to the right side, working towards the left. Beautiful sways to wake up the body. And reverse the cartwheel this time reaching down to the left moving on to the right and back to the center as we do this two more times
taking both your hands right behind you place it on your pubic bone and just going in for a back release as you gaze up to the sky just stay to the point where you feel comfortable And back to the center, I want you to hinge yourselves from your hips just like we did before. Straighten your back, engage your core, lifting the hands over the head. I want you to stay here, breathing, exhaling out with your mouth as you activate your core. And slowly drop yourselves down to the mat, folding the head down. And I want you to march yourselves to the length of the mat to the full plank. Stay on the high plank. You can engage yourselves in little organic movements as shown just to get you through the plank. And march the legs into the center of the mat onto the tabletop position. We're going to be doing the cat and the cow hold. For this, I want you to arch the back, gaze up to the sky, take a nice deep inhale and keep exhaling out as you stay in this pose. Arching for the back and beautiful stretch for the spinal cord. I want you to exhale, tuck yourselves down as your chin drops down to the chest and holding the spine up to the sky. and release yourself now still on the tabletop position i want you to bring both your hands to the center of the mat and we're going to form circles with the left leg nice big knee circles as you open up for the pelvic region opening up for the glutes and reverse the circles take it to the other direction Switch this time for the right leg. Circle out in one direction first. And reverse it. And for more leg work, I want you to curl the toes underneath and reach yourselves up for the downward facing dog. Try to press yourselves down towards your legs as much as possible. You can bend your knees if you are a beginner as shown. And once you're ready, I want you to bring both your legs in towards each other. And as we lift the right leg off the mat, bend the leg and open it out. Working on toning your legs here, beautiful work. Drop the leg down as we switch for the left leg this time. Bend and stretch at your very own pace. And as we slowly drop the leg down, I want you to get yourselves onto the tabletop position. You're going to be doing some core activation here. That's great to strengthen your abs and as well as your entire body for that matter. Lift the right leg and the opposite arm. That's the left arm. And find your balance. This is a challenge for your balance here. Find focus on the mat and try to engage your core, keeping your entire body nice and stiff. And switch this time for the left leg and the right arm keep exhaling out with your mouth do not forget to breathe when it comes to core activation breathing plays a huge role so put the emphasis on breathing 
Part of a work you guys, slowly drop the leg and the arm down. We're going to be doing downward dog to planks. Okay, so get yourselves onto the downward dog position. And from here, you're going to push your body forward to the high plank. So inhale to the downward dog. And exhale for the full plank. Beautiful dynamic work here that's toning your entire body and at the same time you're getting stronger with this move but don't dip your hips make sure the high plank is perfect you're in a nice straight line from head to toe and one more And great work you guys I really hope that got you stronger and got your heart rate up now slowly drop down onto the all fours position we're going in for a quick recovery stretch the thread and the needle I want you to thread your right hand down to the left side drop your shoulder and your head down to the mat and gaze up to the sky and switch this time threading left hand down to the right side and just gazing up for the stretch and we're going to rest the palms for all the work that you did you're going to get onto your elbows for the next couple of moves we're going to work on activating the legs and toning your glute muscles bring your knees together and extend your right leg out point the toes underneath and we're going to drop the leg down to the mat, touch the mat and exhale, thrust it up. So down and up, down and up, working at your own pace. So this is a great move to tone your booty, your legs. And now just hold it up and we're going to form tiny circles up in air. So this is the most difficult part. You will feel the burn on your booty, but don't give up. Stay with me. Tiny circles up in the air. And great job, drop down. I really hope that felt good. Let's take the time to switch. This time for the left leg, bring the knees in towards each other and you're gonna drop down and up. Now hold it up, circles, tiny circles, working it up. Do not give up you guys, I know it hurts. Stay with me. Wonderful work on that, slowly drop the leg down. We're gonna be sitting back on the child's resting pose just to rest the body. You're gonna stay here until you hear the next beep. Raise yourselves up, you're going to be performing a quick vinyasa flow that we're really going to enjoy. It's going to be fast, so stay along with me. You're going to get yourselves onto the downward dog position. And when you're here, I want you to bring both your legs together. Extend the left leg up. Bend the knee and we're just going to form circles. Just the same that we did on the tabletop position, we're going to do on the downward dog position. Now the same leg, I want you to bring in between the gateway of your hands. Adjust yourselves. And once you're good, you're slowly going to raise yourselves up for the warrior one. Beginners, you can drop your back knee down to the floor as shown on the pop-up screen. And swing your hands down to the mat. Work it here, swing yourselves back and forth. And get back to the high plank and now to the downward facing dog 
and get ready to do the same for the right leg this time bring both your legs in towards each other and lift your right leg up bend the knee and circle it out at your very own pace and now bringing the leg to the gateway in between your hands one giant leap as you reposition yourselves getting ready for warrior one drop the back knee down if you feel that's good and planting the hands down getting back for the high plank just hold it here for a few seconds and drop your knees down and your chest down and the chin down for chaturanga raising your hips off the mat And we're going to be doing some back strengthening work, back toning work. For this, you're going to bend your elbows, take your hands right in front of you, place your forehead down to your palms. Bend your knees and open your knees out to the mat distance. Watch how I've kept my foot. I want you to flex your toes underneath. And lift your hands and your head off the mat. And you're just going to hold it here. Keep exhaling out with your mouth. Do not hold on to your breath. And we're going to keep the legs in the same position and we're going to work our upper body for this one. I want you to bend your elbows 90 degrees and we're going to crunch and you're going to drop down. So you're going to inhale up, crunch, and exhale, drop down. When you crunch, make sure you take your elbows right behind you, squeezing for your back. Just three more of this. Two more. And last one. Crunch it hard and relax. And bring your legs back together. Fold your hands and place your head down. And I want you to bend your knees. We are going in for leg marches. Try to flex the foot underneath so that you press the soles of the feet up to the sky. Isolate the rest of your body. You're just working your legs. Keep that in mind. Five more marches to go. Stretching in the upward facing dog, I want you to press your palms down, reach yourselves up, open up for the chest. You can look up to the sky if that feels good, but if you have back issues, just hold it to the point where you feel good. And I really hope you're still with me. We're going to continue with another beautiful vinyasa flow to tone the body. Get yourselves onto the downward facing dog. Bring your legs together and lift the right leg off the mat. Bringing the leg in between your hands. Reaching up for warrior one. Back hip nice and straight. Inhale and exhale for warrior two. Roll your shoulders back and gaze to the right side. Lunge to the front leg as much as possible. And now straighten out the leg that's in front of you and try to bring the legs in closer towards each other to a comfortable distance. And hinge towards the right side. Try to reach your right arm towards the right and straighten your upper body out. Ranging from your hips. So you're gonna hinge to the right, to the center to the right to the center beautiful waist work here I'm sure you're able to feel the core activation already
and now we're gonna go in for trichosana you can reach your hand down to your shin ankle or your toes wherever it feels good for you working on your flexibility levels here plant both your hands down to the mat and hop onto your right leg lifting the left off the mat find your balance this is a challenge for your balance again and I want you to bend your leg and straighten it out the left leg for a quick leg work and drop back to the high lunge this time going in for a reverse stretch planting the left hand down to the mat extending the right reach back for the high plank drop your knees down your chest down and the chin down for chaturanga as we press the palms down for the upward facing dog curl the toes underneath reaching for the downward facing dog as you exhale in the space bring the feet together this time you're going to complete the flow for the left side lifting the left leg and bringing the leg in between your hands find a comfortable position as you reach up for warrior one inhale and exhale and for a big inhale and exhale open out for warrior two nice and strong and straighten the legs and adjust your legs to a comfortable distance as you hinge this time working for the left side hinge and straighten your back do not slouch forward and drop yourselves down for trichosana as you get hold of your left shin or ankle and gaze up to the sky and slowly plant both your hands down to the mat and we're going to go in for the hop as we stand on our left leg lifting the right up and bend the right leg and stretch it out And hop back to the high lunge inhale here and exhale planting the right hand down reaching the left up to the sky going in for the river stretch try to open up for your hip flexors and planting both your hands down reaching back for the high plank as we complete the flow in chaturanga reaching down with your chin chest and your knees down inhale and exhale for the upward facing dog wonderful work as we complete this flow i want you to sit back for the child's resting pose extend your arms place your chin down to the mat Close your eyes and just stay here breathing in the space until you hear the next beep. And you have made it to the last segment for this class. We're just going to finish off with some ab work. For this, just come to a seated position to the center of the mat. Bend your knees, take your hands right behind you for balance. We're going to do the reverse plank. Press the palms down, raise your glutes up 
and once you're up I want you to extend your legs out so this is the reverse plank create a strength in your total body but make sure from the crown of your head to your toes you're in a straight line nice inflammation as you keep exhaling out with your mouth Reaching back, we're going to go in for the forward fold. For this, flex your toes underneath. Try to press your legs down to the mat as much as you can. It's okay if you are bending your knees. Fold yourselves forward. Get hold of your ankles if you can. Just drop your head down for a quick stretch. And let's lie down and finish off with some ab work. Tuck your knees in towards your chest and just rock yourselves back and forth, massaging out your lower back. And now soles of the feet together. You're gonna drop your legs down Hands taken right behind your head, lifting the head and the shoulder blades off the mat. We're simply going to go in for traditional crunches. We're going to slowly crunch up and drop down. Breathing is really important when it comes to ab toning. When you're crunching, I want you to exhale out with your mouth. And when you're dropping out, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, thrust. Inhale, drop down. Slow crunches are really great to target the muscles and to tone your abs and all the fat. And back to the center, this time you're going to bend your knees, place your feet down to the mat. And please make sure your back is imprinted down to the mat. Do not arch your back. Pull the core into a your spine and imprint your back down. No arching of the back. Now we're going to go in for a core hold. Lift the head and the shoulder blades off the mat. Hands right beside you like so. You're just going to hold it here as you keep exhaling out with your mouth. Breathing is important again. This time you're going to lift your legs up to the sky. We're going to work on toning the lower abs. Point the toes underneath and you're going to crisscross your legs. Tuck your hands right underneath your butt cheeks. In that way you're preventing your lower back from arching. And you're going to slowly drop your legs down to a comfortable angle and thrust back. Isolating the rest of your body and engaging your core. And you can also lift your head and the shoulder blades off the mat if you are in an advanced level. But if you want to drop your head down, you can just work the legs. And last and final core and ab strengthening work, we're going to perform the glute bridge. Feet down to the mat, hands right next to your body. And you're going to slowly peel off each vertebrae at a time as you reach the glutes up to the sky. 
keep breathing here last 10 seconds Almost to the end of the class, we're going to finish off with Ananda Balasana or the Happy Baby Pose. For this, flex the foot underneath, bring your knees in towards your body. Get hold of your ankles or your big toes. And slowly open your legs out, opening up for the hip flexors and stretching nice and deep for the lower body. And you can rock yourself side to side to get deeper into the pose. And now is the time that we get into Shavasana or the corpse pose, the last and the final asana. Extend your legs down, your hands stay right next to your body. As you close your eyes and breathe in this space, surrender yourselves and just relax your body and just let go to be present in the moment. I want you to stay here breathing in this space until you hear the last and final beep. wonderful work i really hope that you connected yourselves both mind and body and that you feel ecstatic by doing this beautiful yoga flow with me let's finish off with a final bow down as you extend your right hand down to the mat stretch for the left side and switch for the left side extending for the right side body Rubbing your palms together as you form nice heat. And placing the warmth of your hands down to your eyes. Taking one big inhale, arms up to the ceiling, palms together in prayer. And bow down to seal this practice. And I really hope you felt good doing this sequence. I have more workout videos under the weight loss series coming up. So stay tuned. Do what you can. Build your strength and flexibility with every practice. And remember, the beginning stages is always the most difficult. But never give up and keep pushing yourselves to limits. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, namaste.